Hello and welcome to this session on how to create Selenium Java framework from scratch. In this series, we will create a Selenium Java framework and we will go very basic step by step and we will create a full fledged framework in Java Selenium. In this session, we are going to see how to set up Selenium project in Eclipse. So today we are going to learn what are the prerequisites, how do we create a Maven project in Eclipse, how do we add the dependencies and then we will make the project ready for adding Selenium scripts. So in case uh, you, you are new to Java and you are new to Eclipse and you are new to Selenium, do not worry, we are going to learn everything from scratch. And also you can follow these sessions on Windows or as well as on Mac. So whatever we are going to create will work on both of these operating systems. In case there are any differences, I will let you know during the sessions. And as always on this channel automation step by step, we go very basic step by step. So let's get started. So for the agenda, the very first thing is the prerequisites. And we're, here we have three basic prerequisites. The number one is Java should be installed on your system. So in case you are on Windows, you can go to your command prompt and say Java space hyphen version and hit enter and it should show you the Java version. In case it is not showing, that means Java is not installed. Also, you can say Java C space hyphen version and again hit enter. And again, it should show you the version for Java compiler. So both of these should be present. And in case you are on Mac, you can go to terminal and the same commands Java space hyphen version and it should show you the Java version and Java C space hyphen version to show you the compiler version. Now, just in case uh, Java is not installed or Java compiler is not installed on your system, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com automation step by step. And you can go to the playlists. And here you will find a playlist for Java. So here it is. You can go here. And here you will find these sessions. You can watch how to install Java on Windows in case you are following this session on Windows. In case you are on Mac, you can see how to install or update Java on Mac and you will get started with Java. And the second prerequisite is we have to have Eclipse installed on our system. So again, in the same playlist, you will find the fourth se session as getting started with Eclipse. So Eclipse is the IDE integrated development environment where we are going to create our entire project. So we need to have Eclipse ready on our system. So these are the prerequisites and then Maven should be installed on your system. So again, you can go to my channel and we have again a playlist here for Maven. So go here and here again, you have these two videos for Windows, how to install Maven on Windows and then how to install Maven on Mac. So you can watch this and get Maven ready on your system. And then once you have got all these prerequisites, let us go to the second step, which is we have to create a Maven project in Eclipse. So let us uh, start our Eclipse. So let me exit from here and I will start Eclipse. So I'm using Eclipse Neon. So you can use the latest Eclipse, whatever is there or uh, whatever Eclipse you have, it should be okay. And here you can select any workspace. So this is any folder on your system. You can give the location where all your project will be created and say, okay. Now I am uh, doing this on a Mac, but the steps will be same on Windows. In case there are any differences, I will let you know. So you can follow this on Windows as well. So we have our Eclipse ready now and you can see there here is a project package explorer, right? So in case you are not getting this, you can go to this quick access window and start typing package explorer and you should be getting the package explorer option and you can click that and you will have this package explorer. And now we have to create a Maven project. So you can right click on the package explorer and say new and go to others. You can also go to file, new and other and start typing here Maven. So you will get an option for Maven project. Now uh, in Eclipse, in the latest versions of Eclipse starting with Mars and Neon and Oxygen, 
maven is by default present in eclipse so you will not have to get it separately you should get the maven project option here just in case you are using some older version of eclipse and you do not have uh, you do not get this maven project then you will have to install maven uh, in your eclipse and you can uh, search for how to install or get maven on eclipse and you will get the uh, steps there but because I'm assuming that uh, we have these latest versions of Eclipse because from the last two three versions we are getting Maven so we should be having this and say next and here you can say create a simple project so it will skip the archetype selection we do not need that as of now and you can just say next and here you can start giving the group ID artifact ID and so on so what we will need is uh, the group ID just say something like selenium framework you can give any name actually here also I will say selenium framework and uh, you can leave the rest of the rest of the things as it is and say finish uh, I think this is already there so let me choose selenium java framework selenium java framework and say finish say ok in case you get any warnings and uh, yeah so I have got the selenium, selenium java framework uh, also I can add this selenium java framework to a working set so that I do not see all these other frameworks so what I'm going to do is just click here and say select working sets and I will say new and I will say Java and next and I will give any new selenium Java framework and I have already added this and say finish and select this working set and say ok so uh, th this was an optional step you do not have to do this it's just like I do not want to see other frameworks here or other projects here so I have done that so now I have this selenium java framework which is a maven framework ready and you should be having this pom.xml as well so we have done this we have get our selenium uh, maven project ready and then we have to add dependencies to our pom.xml so if you see your pom.xml here and double click this you will get your pom.xml here now what pom.xml is this is a file where we can add all the dependencies or all the libraries that will be needed for this project and this provides us a very uh, easy way of maintaining all our dependencies so I will let you know what exactly you have to do uh, you can go to your browser and say maven repository and click on this maven repository and here you can search for the dependencies so for example I can say selenium java and hit the search and you can see we have got selenium java I will click on the first one and you can see all these versions are there so the latest one is 3.4.0 also you can verify this by going to uh, selenium.org which is the official site for selenium let us just uh, it's a little slow let me go to selenium and yes I'll go from here selenium dot okay this is selenium hq dot org my mistake the website is selenium hq dot org and if you go to download selenium you can see the latest version is 3.4.0 so we have the latest version here as well so click on the latest version 3.4.0 or whatever is present at your time and now you can add this dependencies for selenium java in two ways one way is you can just copy this dependency from here and go to your project and go to this pom.xml here and here you can add that dependency like this 
and we have to have a dependencies tag as well but we will do it in a different and an easy way so what we can do is go to this dependencies tab and here click on add and now give the group id artifact id and version as it is here in maven repository so this is the group id i will copy it from here and give it here this is the artifact id i'll copy it again from here and then the version so again i will just copy it from here and give it here and then you can say okay and here if you go now to the pom.xml you can see this has already now come here so i could have directly copied it from here from the maven repository or this is the other way so you can do it like this so let us uh, add some other dependencies as well that we will be needing in our project so we need junit so let us also add junit the same way the latest version and here now i can directly copy this from here and add it to pom.xml okay and now when you click control s or command s for saving the project you will see that these dependencies are getting downloaded from the internet and getting added to our project and now you should have a section called maven dependencies and if you expand it you are getting all these jars or dependencies that are required for your project so you can see how easy it becomes with maven if we are not using a maven project we will have to download all these libraries and jars one by one from the internet and then add to our project the other problem will be if you take this project to some other system or machine then you will have to do the same procedure again but with maven we are good we can even if we take this project to any other machine we will just have to compile it once and all the dependencies will get added uh, by default so you do not have to worry about maintenance of the project now okay so we are done with our third step which is how to add dependencies in pom.xml the fourth step is we have to make project ready to add selenium scripts so i believe we have added the required jars so what we can do is let us go to this uh, selenium test java package so also if you have seen we have by default got these packages main java main resources and test java so we are going to create all our test in test java and we will have some more utilities and resources so uh, we will uh, do this step by step in the coming sessions do not worry about that but for now you can right click on this test java and say new and say class and uh, let us say give this name as browser test and say finish so we have got our class now we will create a main method now again in case you are you are like completely new to java do not worry you can go to uh, my channel on you can go to the java playlist and here i have explained very bas basic uh, step by step how exactly you can get started with java so you can uh, see my first java program command line executions and how to create classes and objects but even if you do not see this i will explain you so do not worry so here you will just say main and press control space bar on your keyboard you will get a option for this main method just click here and you are getting this main method so main method is the starting point for any java program and now you can say web driver driver equals to new firefox driver okay and you are getting some errors here so if you hover over this you are getting this option to import web driver right import web driver so you can import from org open selenium and similarly for firefox driver as well you will do the same thing and we are getting this options only because we have added our libraries in case you have not added the selenium java library in your pom you will not even get the options to add these uh, dependencies so in case you are wondering how exactly i have written this uh, i will suggest you can see the java tutorial on how to create object and classes so you will get to know how exactly we are doing this and now i can say driver dot 
get so you can find all the options are coming by default and I can go to any URL now so let me go to the selenium hq URL you can give the URL name here I do not need www only this and say control s or command s save it and then you can do a right click and you can say run as java application so you will find some exception in the console which is saying the path to driver executable must be set by web driver kiko driver so in case you are getting the same exception do not worry we will exactly see how to uh, troubleshoot this in the next session but we are now okay and our project is now ready for writing selenium scripts so in case you have firefox version 47 or below you might be able to run your uh, driver or, or run this project directly and you might get a firefox browser opening but uh, 47 and above firefox version will need a geeko driver and we will see exactly in the next session also if you go to the channel and if you go to the playlist there is a playlist for some basic selenium and if you go to the yes this is the selenium playlist so this will be very handy if you look at some initial tutorials on like uh, introduction to selenium uh, history is something you can watch if you want and you know some very very basic steps you will get to know if you look at the selenium beginner tutorial so this uh, tutorial is about uh, the very basics of selenium it will be very helpful and handy for you to go forward in this series okay so we have make our we have made our project ready for adding the selenium scripts so let us do a very quick recap we looked at the prerequisites we looked at how to create a maven project in eclipse we looked at how to add dependencies in pom.xml and now we have made our project ready for the next session so in the next session we are going to add browser drivers and we will run a sample test on firefox chrome internet explorer and safari and then we will make our project ready for the next session i hope you liked this video Please subscribe to the channel so that you get notified on all the upcoming and new videos on the channel automation step by step. Also like it and share it with others. I will meet you in the next session. Thanks for watching.